JW.org, um, as we know, that's uh, most of us XJWs know the uh, malintent of the Watchtower Society. And um, they're getting involved with a with their own telecom company that could they have ramifications going beyond things that we're even talking about here recently about uh, it ranging from them upgrading their infrastructure for their own uh, corporate use to possibly offering a squeeze down internet to JWs to be able to control information but if something else owning a telecom company gives you a lot of other uh, access and uh, I was listening to Mike and Kim's video the other day and they mentioned something about being hacked um, I'm assuming through their uh, Gmail account or whatever somebody was trying to access it and when they when they found out who it was it was somewhere over there in New York and so that doesn't mean that uh, somebody at Watchtower headquarters was doing it uh, it may be just some rogue JW just trying to access what they can. There's some people out there that are, you know, hacking somebody's email account isn't exactly the most technologically impossible thing to do. It's not, it's actually kind of easy if you have the skills for it. And uh, what my concern is with JW.org, the way that the Watchtower is getting more and more desperate and launching attacks through uh, YouTube even and uh, claiming copyright infringement and trying to get videos shut down um, they I know they had for a while a banner across the front of their page I don't know if they still have it up but it's something to the effect of um, their stuff is copyright protected and you know beware you know they'll sue you if uh, if you misuse it or use it against them so when you have a website like that and especially if you have your own telecom company behind you it's so much easier to locate actual IP addresses and uh, through nefarious means and through le some legal means you can actually get uh, physical addresses and personal information on people through their IP address. My recommendation would be um, if you're ever going to go to JW.org just use an offshore proxy server to uh, piggyback on that. It'll mask your IP address and uh, whenever it, you know the uh, packets interchange it'll be between the proxy server and watchtower not necessarily exactly between your computer and watchtower. It would be harder for them to locate you. Um, that's that's my guess of what they're probably trying to do next is they probably picked up uh, Mike and Kim's IP address from JW.org or something like that and uh, they were able to trace it back to that email address. So you know, just uh, that, that would be my recommendation. Find yourself a, a D. I'm not going to, you know, recommend any because I don't want to uh, put myself out there, you know, and be responsible. I've seen, you know, people offer something and then circumstances change and then there's a problem and, you know, you're caught in the middle. So, but uh, research your uh, selections and um, most proxy servers are free and a lot of them are very fast now. I know some of them used to be hella slow, uh, but uh, there's some out there that are actually very fast and they're free to use and uh, that will give you an extra uh, level of uh, protection between you and the watchtower if they're, if they're looking for IP addresses. Well, that's all I wanted to share with you right now. Uh, have a great weekend. Um, God bless you all, and I hope to talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.